everyone, my name is Lacey and I make unintentional ASMR videos. Today we're gonna do my makeup. It is a filming day, which I don't do my makeup any differently on a filming day than I do on like a regular day. It is rainy outside. I have a cat eating food, so if you hear little clumps of crunching, then that's what you're listening to. Um, so first I'm just gonna kinda take you through what is in my makeup bag and this is my makeup bag it is from merit and i wanted the bag but they didn't have just the bag for sale so my fiance oh i'm gonna sneeze you're watching me so i can't my fiance ended up just getting me a highlighter from there like a couple of holidays ago and it came with the bag and i was so excited because it's washable and you can just like tie it i mean it really is so cute there's like fuzz on it so i'm also wearing my hair curly which i haven't done in weeks i'm saying probably like a month and a half okay so i have this old dusty crusty wet and wild blush in the color mellow wine from wet and wild which honestly it's just the best thing ever I have a NYX brown eyeliner in the color Brown Shimmer. I like brown eyeliner. It's not retractable. It's um, a one that can be sharpened. And yeah, I just, I prefer brown eyeliner over black eyeliner because it looks more natural unless I'm doing like something really precise, like a winged liner. Well, I even brought, I bought a brown liner for that too, so. NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum in the color beige. This is a pretty good color for me actually, and I like that it's not full coverage. My cat just jumped on the table. My favorite mascara, which is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite. Like I wouldn't buy another one unless it like blew me out of the water. I use this for a bronzer, but it's the Maybelline New York Superstay Full Coverage Powder Foundation in the color Truffle 362. I personally prefer powder foundation as a... Butters, can you leave me alone while I film? When my cat hears my voice, he thinks it's like time to cuddle. Um, I prefer this over just like a regular bronzer because to me I feel like the intent is to stay on my skin more and so I just feel like it stays for longer. You can probably hear my dog snoring in the background too. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color Granite. I bought Granite when my hair was black and I've just kept with it. That was a long time ago. My sister recently gifted me the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder, um, the loose setting powder in banana, banana, banana powder in banana. And um, so far I really, really like it, but I'm gonna have to figure out what it's like in the summer because that's when I really test powder. Um, in Arizona, it can get a little humid because it's monsoon season and it's obviously just like the devil's armpit it's so hot in the summer so um i'll have better or more concise thoughts in the summer the foundation i use is the satin matte foundation by alima pure in the color warm four i've used this brand forever you, you, there's no room you can't do it bro there's no room and I just have a pair of like scissors in here for my eyebrows and my mustache. I have a metal tin in here that has like soap because I'm gonna do soap brows today. And then for that, I also have like a little thing of water. This is just like an up and up spray bottle. I don't even have the cap anymore. I think it just, I left it on the table somewhere and one of my cats just like took it away. I will never stop using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer, the primer potion. This is just like the best thing ever. Did he jump over? Yeah. So I always use this. It doesn't matter like what makeup look I'm going for. Not that I even go for like looks anymore. 
I have the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer in here, but I'm actually going to take this out. This is in the color beige. I don't use this. I use this in the summer. Well, my skin's a little more bronzed. What is that? Sometimes I get nervous about what's in the pool because I had to fish a dead bunny out of there one time, but it's just our pool vacuum going around and clean. But I'm always like hawkeyeing the pool. LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner. I just got this from Dollar Tree. Um, I don't think it has a color on it, but it's just the brown one. So I like this, but I noticed that when I took it off last time, and I take my makeup off with almond oil, I noticed last time when I took it off, it was almost like, like waterproof. Like it kind of peeled off like a sticker. And I could tell when it was on my fingers and I was like, are you gonna, like, if I wear you all day, would you be flaking off? I don't know. What else do I have in here? I have an e.l.f. Um, Universal Sign for Pencil Sharpener. I have the L.A. Colors Juicy Smoochies Tinted Lip Balm in here. This is the watermelon one. You guys, these are so good. I also have the Juicy Smoochies and Watermelon, the lip gloss. And I have the coconut one as well, which is blue. I got these from Dollar Tree. When I found out Dollar Tree had them, I booked it to Dollar Tree to get them. Ash is trying to play with his pee pad. Ash is our puppy, if you don't know. That's why there's like a playpen there. He hasn't been fully vaccinated yet, so he can't go outside to go potty. So we're still keeping him in this little playpen when we can't like tend to him. Anyway. NYX Suede Lip Liner in the color Sandstorm. Love this. NYX Professional, oh, again, a NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the color Mason, M-A-I-S-O-N. These are my favorite, that's why they're in here. And the last thing I have in here, which is a little dusty, but it's my Fenty Beauty Highlighter in the color Blonde. It's just like, mm. now that everything has been, oh wait, I lied. I have my little tweezer mint tweezers, a NYX butter gloss in the color creme brulee, and a dusty little beauty blender, which I don't really use that anymore. The reality of having a puppy is that I'm gonna have to stop and cut the video even though I prefer my ASMR videos to not be cut. So this is running out just a little so I like to squeeze it to get as much on like the applicator as possible and then kind of just like roll it on my lips. I'm still struggling a little bit on what to film for my main channel. If you're wondering what my main channel is, it's Milky Candles LLC. But I, um, you know, I have a million ideas for my ASMR channel. But today I am filming a video. It's about my wholesale contract. Um, so. I'm excited about that because people have been asking for that and waiting for it for a while. I take my concealer and I just put like a little bit on my brush. And then, oh, I usually do my brows first. Maybe I won't, I don't know. I like soap brows, but I don't like them when I wash my face because I'm always afraid the soap is going to get into my eye. And it, if it does, it stings. I don't think I'm going to do them today, actually. Especially since I already have my concealer on, it will like kind of look gross and tacky. So yeah, okay, no concealer, or no concealer, no soap brows today. Sorry about the background noise, guys. We have so many animals. If it bothers you, let me know. And 
might need a little bit more concealer. Finish that up with my finger. I've always wanted to be the person that like just wears concealer, but the reality is, is like in the daylight, doesn't look good for me because my face is kind of just like red and splotchy otherwise like around my nose around my mouth between my eyebrows like I'm just kind of a splotchy girl But I don't like, I don't like a full face of makeup either, so that's why I like the powder foundation, it's just like a little bit lighter. I used to wear powder, or not powder, sorry, just concealer and like I wouldn't wear any foundation and I would use like bronzer and blush still. But I um, still just kind of like, when I look back at photos, it's just not, not the vibe. It's just not the vibe. I'm going to put these things back because I'm not going to use them for my brows. And I'm putting my lip liners back because I, well, maybe I'll use them. We'll see. yesterday I love working with clean brushes I try to wash them weekly but let's be honest sometimes it's bi-weekly all right my skin has been doing better since I stopped eating so much dairy um, if you saw my 2023 reset video on my main channel I had one of my goals this year to be like, just get back to more plant-based eating because like I can eat eggs and whatnot, but milk, which usually eggs and milk in recipes kind of go hand in hand, I've noticed. Not in recipes, but like maybe in things that I buy, like snacks. And um, milk just, man, it tears up my skin. I used to have really, really bad hormonal acne. Like, I'm telling you, it's so bad. I have videos on my main channel about it. And I had never seen it be that bad. It was, I had gotten off birth control and I was eating, you know, whatever I wanted, whenever I wanted. And I was like, what, 20? I was 20 something, I don't remember. I think it was in my mid 20s, like 24, 25, sounds about right. I'm 30 now. And um, I hardcore went plant-based, like just cold turkey, and my skin flourished. And I still had like these little bumps, so I ended up using benzoyl peroxide, and 
those little bumps went away, but my cystic hormonal acne went away when I stopped eating dairy. And I know people don't, like there's a lot of people that don't believe in it. I don't think it like, I don't think it's like a magic potion for everyone, but I do think that it was something that happened with me, so. Can't really see, but I have these like scars here on my lip. That's also from eating dairy. <laughs> and they won't go away. I have an aloe vera plant, so I need to cut off a leaf and start using it. Okay. We are done with the foundation. I haven't been wearing, oh, my hip just popped. I haven't been wearing my hair curly for a while. I'm behind schedule. I haven't been wearing my hair curly for a while um, because I have to redo it every couple of days where if my hair is straight or in twists, then I don't have to redo my hair every couple of days. Sorry, my ice machine. But my scalp can't, I've just decided like my scalp can't handle a week without being washed. And I started using head and shoulder for a while, but then I was talking about it in a video and people gave me a lot of suggestions. And so now I use the As I Am shampoo and it's like the dandruff one. It's a blue bottle and it, oh my God, you guys, it's so good. If you have never tried it and you suffer from a dry scalp, do it. I bought the oil too but I don't, um, I only use the oil like before I'm gonna shampoo my hair because I give myself like an actual scalp massage. This is so gross, but last time I, my hair was straight and I literally like took my fine tooth comb and I like scratched my scalp to get everything off the, gently, to get everything off the surface before I shampooed it out. And I think that that was actually really helpful I was very careful though, but I think the massage does um, a, a good job too. I'm using the same powder just to like add some dimension on my lid. Can you hear my dog snoring? Oh my goodness gracious. She's something else, guys. She's something else. Does anyone else have a dog that snores? I don't know. I mean, I know that like dogs obviously snore, but I feel like pit bulls or any sort of like short snapped dogs snore so badly. She's an American Staffordshire Terrier, so. She has a little bit of a shorter snout than like a husky. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this back in because you know, I said I was gonna take it out, but we are where we are. Blush. My blush stained my brush. I don't know if you can see, it's like tinted pink. We ran out of soap, like the normal dial soap that I use. So I used our hand soap. It's like the just normal, like antibacterial hand soap. And I feel like it got them really clean, but for some reason, this blush brush didn't get as clean. But every time he hears me, he gets excited. a little on my nose. Another dog just started barking because my cat butters. He's on the floor behind the counter. 
Okay, I like this highlighter because now it's a little bit like dry, so it doesn't go on as concentrated. keep like a little paper towel in here for like when I do my soap brows or when I need to like wipe my brush and I change it out every like other day. Okay. I'm gonna put my liquid liner away too because we're not using that. Brush my brows up. So I got my eyebrows microbladed like two years ago. I'd like to do it again at some point, but I wanted them like really natural, which is what they look like, because my brows are really thin, but also they're really short. So like this right here, like this part, is all microbladed. I do not have a tail. This. Like I have little hairs here, but they don't come to a tail. They're just like fine, sporadic hairs. So if you've thought about it before, I recommend doing it because now I just get to like make them a little bit more defined, but like I used to reshape and redo my entire eyebrow. Some of you who have been on my main channel with me for years would know just how much I had to reshape my own eyebrow. I feel like this one didn't take as much pigment as this one though, like as far as the inside right here. Um, but I just, financially we have other goals that don't include me getting my eyebrows microbladed, so. We're not, I'm not going to do that right now. But at some point, I'd love to do it again. It didn't even hurt. Alright, we're doing a little bit of brown liner. We're almost done. And I like to just kind of smudge it with my finger. Hey, what girl? I can hear you. You're starting to snore again. Mascara. I love this mascara. I put it on my eyelashes and then I also put it on my eyebrows to just like define the individual hairs. Oh, I have like a random patch of dry skin on my, um, oh, that eyebrow hair is curly. Um, on my forehead, I have a dry patch of skin I need to get off. I just like, I think that, I don't know, I feel like this just looks better throughout the day than this. I don't know, maybe they think differently. In person, I feel like it makes them look a lot better. I can literally hear the clocks. Last but not least, I'm just going to do a little bit of that Mason lip liner. I already have a lip gloss on, so it's going to help it guide a lot easier. 
Okay, sorry, I had to let him out because I always feel bad, but I try not to let him out when he's crying because then he learns that if he cries, he'll get out. But his nap time is definitely over. It's like 9.30, it's 9.40. He'd only been in there for like 30 minutes, but he didn't get out a lot of energy before he went in there. So it's kind of my fault, but anyway, you can see my planning path right there. Okay. So anyway, back to lip liner. I'm also getting a pimple right there. He grabbed something out of my office and is playing with it. I like putting on lip liner when I have lip gloss on because it allows me to just do like a really faint line because the pigment comes off easier so I don't have to be so hard with it. And that's what it looks like. I don't think I want to do any. What did you grab? <laughs> Let me show you what he grabbed. Come here, let me see. So this goes, um, when I get USPS boxes delivered, they put it in this. So Ash was picking it up and dragging it around the house and Millie, our cat, was chasing it. Come on, go ahead and keep Keep expending both of your energy. I'll show you. I don't know if I showed you him. So cute. Okay. I also cut my bangs like a while ago. Um, and curly, they are pretty wild. So I need to figure out how to tame them curly. And then, then I'm golden. But for now, I've just been like pinning them back. But I definitely like having bangs with like straight hair. I just need to figure out like on a day to day what I'm supposed to do with them because like the day that I do my hair, I love them. And then the next day I'm like, now what? And then with curly hair, the day I do them, they stay down. But then because of how I sleep with my hair just up in a bun, when my hair was longer in the front, it would just eventually like weigh itself down and just kind of like flatten out or be normal. But since they're so short, they just fling up. <laughs> so I need to um, figure out how to keep them down. Even if it means I like, I can't spray them because then they'll get really frizzy. He's cute. Come here, Ash, let me show everyone how cute you are. Let me go get him. Did you say hi? My name is Ash and my mom bottle fed me and I have a resting bitch face. <laughs> don't you? Yeah, you don't, I love you. You just want my hair. He just wants my hair. You know, that doesn't feel good. Thanks so much. Okay, go play with Millie. Go play with Millie. <laughs> go play with Millie. No, you can't have it. You can't have it. He wants my makeup bag. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this content. As I upload videos, I'm making sure to put them in playlists. That was my ankle. I'm making sure to put them in playlists so that when you watch a video and you have like a certain type of trigger that you enjoy, you can just watch that whole playlist. So again, thank you for watching this video. I love you even if you don't love me back. Put any requests down below in the comment section and I will see you guys in my next one.